In this tutorial, we will recreate email template by Duolingo in Figma and then export email template with Marco Email Junior Generate or Figma plugin. Uh, so let's get started. It's a final result. It's a HTML file which is responsible and works for mobile. So let's get started. First, make sure you have installed the plugin, Marco Email Generator. To find the plugin, you can simply type Marco Email Generator into Figma community or link will be in the description. I prepared the screenshot and images and text blocks in Figma file and text styles and color styles. First, let's run the plugin, then let's create a new project, let's adjust the width of the project to the original email. As you can see, in the Figma plugin, there's a new section called Builder, where you can find the layout section and block section. Layout. It's a different types of containers, such as columns, space between, hero image, divider and spacer, and blocks. It's a items which you can put inside container. So let's get started with first block. It's a logo. Let's create a container. You can simply dig and drop container inside your template in Figma. Then let's copy paste two images. First, it's a logo, command C. And then after select container, command V. And do the same with this image, command C. Select container, command V. Then let's add center alignment for this item. And then we can add a spacer between logo an image. To do so, go to the blocks, select spacer block and put spacer inside container. Then select the spacer and with arrows put spacer between two images. Then let's create this block with title, body text and button. button. To do so, Let's add a new one column container in the, our template. Once we added a new column, we can add some elements inside this block. It header, body text, and button. So Let's add text and let's adjust styles. Let's select text primary, then set header and body text. Let's add center alignment for text items. To do so, select text, then go to the right sidebar in the text settings and set center alignment. And do the same for a button. For a button, you need to select a container for the button and go to auto layer settings and set the auto center. And let's change color of the button. After that, we can add some spacers between items in these text blocks you can add spacers with from plugin or simply change auto layers this auto layer settings then next let's add a spacer between these two blocks spacer and add a new container for this text body text and image. It will be one column container. 
C, set of container, command V, set. You can copy paste text from Figma or your existed text. Do not forget to set for all text objects, set fill container at the SOH settings and hug content for the vertical resizing. Then let's update styles. Select header, body text, and let's add some spacing between. Then after that you can duplicate this block, duplicate spacer, set spacer between these two blocks, and update an image. So after that you can add a footer. If of, between footer and content there is a spacer. It's a divider with border. You can add divider simply dragging divider into the plate. It will be added to the bottom. Then you can see that it's a block with text on the left and social icons on the right side. To create this block, so it's a in the layout section you can find block called space between. It's uh, two containers on different sides, and let's add text on the left and social icons on the right side. And we can update. Let's update the text content and update text styles. And let's add a new one column container below to add the last text item. Color settings and text style settings. Once you created your email template, you can turn on or turn off the borders, dashed borders of the containers, and in the preview section, you can see that all borders are ignored. So here is your email. We forget to add a right alignment for social icons. Let's select a container for the icons and set right alignment. Then click on the reload button. And now social icons go to the right and text goes to the left. This way you can recreate email template by doing uh, using layout builder in the Figma plugin. You can use this function or another component or simply create email from scratch using auto load stagings and it will work in this plugin. Thank you for watching. All links will be in the description. I hope this tutorial will help you to build cool emails.